Hi, Warren Knight again, and we're back for another Tech Tuesday video. This week, I'm going to be talking about freelancer.co.uk. Now, remember over the last couple of weeks, I've been talking to you about some great places to go and do some research, maybe to write some articles for your business. So we had the title maker, I had Solvi that's going to help you get those keywords. Now you know what it is that you want to say, but you don't know how to say it. It's a place where you, as the business owner, to go and find people that are going to maybe write an article for you. So you want someone to write an article about your business, focused on your target audience, and you want to pay £10 for that article, and you want to find somebody that knows your industry very well. So this is what freelancer.co.uk can do for you and for your business. So now I'm going to go over to Google and type in freelancer. And as you can see, Google already gives me the .co.uk version because we're based in the UK. And we click on the website. So now, depending on whether or not you're looking for people to help or whether or not you're somebody that's looking for a client, you can do one or the other. But for the purpose of today, we want to go and hire somebody. Now, we want to find somebody that's going to do some writing for us because we'd like to get some articles written. So we're looking to maybe get four blogs written for our website. And now we want to post a project. So we want to go and find somebody that's relevant in our industry to write those articles for us. It now brings us through into their user interface. Now I'm a returning user. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my username and password in because I've already signed up with Freelance before. So now I've got that information into there. You can see it's working through the process. So it's welcome back Vincent. I used it as my middle name. And here we're looking for somebody to do writing. We want some write articles to be written for us. Um, it's under the articles heading. So anybody that is a content writer, they know that's where to go. I would like four articles of 400 words each on social media. So I'm being very specific. I want four articles, 400 words on specifically social media. As I scroll down, I can add some files. So I might want to load up some pictures or if I have an infographic, so I've got a graphic that's visualizing what it is that I want to say and I want that infographic to be converted into words. Now I can load up, load up that image. I can, use, uh, I can define the price, so I've got a fixed price that I'm looking for, so between 10 to 20 pounds. And then, if I'd really like this um, particular post to be seen by other people, I can click on Urgent, and that's going to be an extra price of 9 pounds. So now I'm going to post my project. So the system now is going to go through the process of wanting me to confirm my payment. So I can click Confirmation of Payment. and. As we go through the process here, you can see it's asking me for my specific payment detail. You would then be able to put your payment details in and then see your specific post live with Inside Freelancer and then wait till people start contacting you. For you as a business owner, I don't want you to think about freelancer.co.uk as just a place where you can go and do your copywriting. Think about it if you're looking to get a designer. Think about if you want to do some content marketing and you want to design an infographic. You can use freelancer.co.uk for multiple different reasons within your business to hire that virtual assistant that can do that one specific task for you and then you can move on to the next. And next week, we're gonna be talking about a great tool that I've used for a very long time now, which is completely free of charge for you to use. It links in quite nicely into a video that we spoke about a couple of weeks ago called Google Alerts. And ultimately, it's gonna help you be collaborative and share your work within your team. It's gonna be called Google Drive. And I'm Warren Knight, this is Tech Tuesday. Thank you very much.